usually refer to the fall and winter months as cold and flu season because there is a seasonal pattern to the spread of many viruses. From the beginning, scientists have wondered if the same might hold for COVID-19. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the latest research into that question. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim and Devin. Yeah, you know, one thing people might have noticed as the official start of summer approaches, many of the states with the largest recent COVID-19 increases are in the hottest areas of the country, the South, which leads to the natural question. If there is a seasonal variation, why is it getting worse there? Well, some new research helps provide an answer. A paper published June 11th in the Journal of the American Medical Association used global temperature and humidity trends seen during the initial outbreak and spread of COVID-19 at the start of 2020 to estimate how likely it is that the virus would have a seasonal element to its spread. They found eight cities with substantial spread of COVID-19 between January and March, Wuhan, China, Tokyo, Japan, Daegu, South Korea, Calm, Iran, Milan, Italy, Paris, France, Seattle, Washington, and Madrid, Spain were all in a narrow band with consistently similar temperatures between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit and low humidity. They suggested weather modeling might help predict areas at higher risk of spread. Now, another study recently published in Clinical Infectious Diseases drilled down more specifically on the United States. The researchers looked at cases of COVID-19 between January 22nd and April 3rd, and they used modeling to see if there was a relationship between temperature, precipitation, or sunlight and spread of the virus. They found warmer temperatures did slow transmission of the virus, but only up to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Beyond that, warmer temperatures did not appear to help. Their model also predicted that the highest infection rates would occur below 30 degrees. Sunlight, or the UV index, was also associated with a lower rate of new infections, but precipitation had no relationship. So the bottom line, at this point, there is growing evidence that weather does modestly affect spread of the virus, but only to a degree. Once the weather warms up every, everywhere, like we see in the summer, the spread actually becomes independent of weather and much more dependent on local community behaviors like distancing, masks, and hygiene. Well, I know you probably can't answer this definitively, but does this also imply that things will get worse when fall and winter roll around? Well, you know, actually, based on both of these studies, it's a good bet that as temperatures and humidity drop in the fall and winter, we will lose any help that weather might provide. But frankly, if everyone maintains good distancing, mask use and other precautions, hopefully we can avoid the change in weather setting us back yeah. too far. Yeah. Let's, to hope. You. Let's hope so. OK, thanks, Dr. McGeorge.